For the past 20 years, we've made much progress in reducing under five child mortality, but we now have looming threats and the gains that we have made are really jeopardized. I think that the ecological emergency that we face across the planet is absolutely the most important threat to the long-term health of children today, combined with the immediate threat of the commercial determinants of health. Reconceptualizing child health in the way that the Commission does will initially come as a shock to anatomize what those threats are and to lay out a plan for how we can address those threats so that we can not just protect the gains that we've made in the past 20 years, but that we can actually accelerate progress over the next 20 years. 2020 is an absolutely pivotal year. It's a year where we are calling on the world to redirect its attention to children and young people and to change the way we think so that we think about their future, not just their health in the present. It's a great opportunity and we believe we have the evidence to help shift world opinion in this way. There are 1.8 billion children and young people on our planet. That's a huge number of people who are totally invisible when it comes to decision making. We have to give them a voice. We have to give them a platform. And what this commission has tried to do is to provide that platform. But we have to do much more so that their voices can be heard.